Now, here's something I've been looking to review for a while. I've actually been looking to buy one and set it up on my property for my backyard, but this has a whole bunch of implications for us who use it as preppers and survivalists. Today, we're taking a look at the Vivor Camp Kitchen. Could be good for a camp, could be good for your bug out location. Let's check it out. All right, folks, welcome back. So in that green storage bag there is a pretty awesome camp kitchen. Now I have set it up and uh, tested it out a little bit. I haven't used it yet. I just set it up to see what it looked like. And I got to say, it's got tons of storage space, really sturdy, a whole lot more sturdy than I thought it would be. I've seen these on Amazon for the longest time. And I checked with Vivor and they said they had one of these. And I said, okay, we're going to try one of those out because I think this is not only for good for a bug out location, but good for your camp stuff, your backyard, pretty much anywhere where you might be working outside, even if you're just practicing your cooking outside. So we're gonna set the main frame of it up so you're not just staring at an ugly green bag on the floor. And I'm gonna show you how to put it together and my thoughts on something like this. All right, so your first order of business when you get it out of the bag, you'll notice there's a bunch of stuff on the floor here, we'll get to that in a second, is to set up the main structure. Um, now twice when I've done this, I pulled it out and set, tried to set it up upside down. <laughs> You're going to put these flat in the center. You're going to fold those sides out and you're going to pull your legs down. You're going to notice that your legs are a little short. So you actually have to pull the legs down and it'll snap into the hole. There'll be two little pressurized spring loaded balls there that will snap into the hole on each side and it'll be fully set up. That's step one. Let's move on to step two. All right, so I got you off tripod here to show you the first steps. First thing you're going to do is connect these two little storage areas here. There will be underneath a hook okay you hook that and you put your velcro around i actually have to move that velcro because it should be up above this so you're going to hook it up in all four areas on the top and you're good to go same on that side then you're going to open them up and put your wood paneling inside each one that will allow you to store things flat and not have them wobbling all over the place your next step is going to be attach this piece here now if you look underneath here it just snaps on there's just little snaps so you just put it down, give it a whack on each side. Then, after that, we're going to install the middle storage bag, which is on the floor over there. And so far, this has been really, really simple. Um, I did the, the only mistake I made so far was folding it backwards, unfolding it backwards when I first opened it up. So I'm going to fix this one and put it up above here. And I'm going to put the middle storage in. And then we'll put the top piece on and the windscreen. All right, so we've got the middle section connected, that little middle storage bin. I do have the top thing on there, the top tray. Uh, I'm gonna give you a quick walk around here, take a look at it. Hopefully it'll help the lighting a little bit because I know lighting isn't always that great when I'm doing it this way in my garage. There you go. And you can see how easy it is to put up. And that's it. So all we got left to do is attach this windscreen up here. And those little tabs are going to slide into these little holes here, like that. So let me get that done, and I'll bring you right back. And then we can finish up the video, because I think this is really going to be a nice addition for my usage in the backyard, even for making videos. But I think for a bug out location, uh, even car camping, even an RV, uh, any kind of emergency situation where you might have to set up and cook outside, I think it'll work pretty darn well. So let's finish up building it. So there you go. It's all set up. Very, very simple. Uh, sort of intuitive. I mean, I kind of just did it on my own without even looking at the instructions and it seemed to go together fine. Uh, one thing I did do was I put the top on backwards. So when I had the heat, the windshield screen away, it was hanging off the end. I changed it around because the name Vibor was on the front and I switched it backwards and I'm like, oh wow, look at that, it fits perfectly. So Coleman two burner stove there, maybe a little single burner on the side. Those are kind of like a Formica kind of feeling on the tabletops. You got tons of storage space, really durable. I got to say, um, I sat down on the side of it just to see how, how it would hold my weight and it held me fine. So got to say, it's a pretty darn durable system and a pretty nice system too for what it is. So this is definitely going to be my... Uh, my setup in the backyard, which I will just be practicing with, but taking this out on the road, let's say, taking this in your vehicle, in your RV, whatever, um, using it in an emergency situation. If you're involved in a situation, especially with people that volunteer like myself, you know, with ham radio, that could just as easily be a ham radio table. 
you know i could easily set that up run my antenna wires through that little hole in the back and that could be awesome i could put all my stuff in it set up for field day or something so it's got lots and lots of space two side tables to hold grills cooking condiments whatever two tier detachable storage organizer in the center which allows you to put all your utensils you put it i put it together in about 10 minutes total it really was not that difficult so one of the things i did notice on the bottom there is that x structure that gives you a lot more stability on it um, one of the things I was pushing down on the top there, I was kind of worried because that just that table there, you know, that little tray just snaps right on the rails like we showed you with the bottom one. And I was pushing down. I'm like, whoa, I shouldn't do that. This is just aluminum. But because you've got that X structure there, you got that extra strength there. So the product dimensions. All right. Open 64.9 by 19.5 by 45.5 inches. Folded 32 by 21 by 5. OK, very, very small once you fold it up. It's heavy. 28.7 pounds definitely not a bug out item but for a remote cabin uh, a bug out location um, even an area where you don't have a kitchen inside a bug out location i would use that as my kitchen no problem at all that would work perfectly for me the material is going to be aluminum steel you have your pvc and cloth uh, that stuff is really easy to clean too as well if you spill anything on it you just take a wet rag and wipe it off so i'm actually really impressed with this now the price on this is a lot lower than I've seen for camp kitchens previously. This one's going to run you $123.99, okay? After you register on the site, which you got to do anyway, it goes to $89.99. So when you register with Vivor, you go on there, register for an account, set up. You're going to save all that money just for registering. Then there is the VV promo, which gets you 5% off site-wide, anything else you buy. So I will give you the link down below to check this out. Like I said, 89 bucks after registering. Well, 90, 89, 99 after registering. You really can't go wrong. I've seen these on Amazon for as much as $250. So I'm really not complaining on the price. Um, definitely like it. Definitely going to be using this and trying it out. You'll probably see some videos of me shooting stuff on it. Um, you know, not shooting, shooting, but video shooting <laughs> some stuff on it. And uh, we'll try it out and see how it works. I'm definitely interested in uh, your ideas on this, what you would use it for. Um, if you guys think this would be good for a... Uh, an indoor cabin that may not have a kitchen area, uh, maybe a bug out location if you're bugging out in a vehicle and you got to set up a cooking area once you reach a secure destination. Also, too, for cooking outside, power outage, you don't want to cook in your house, you don't want to take out that two burner stove, you take this out to the backyard and cook. I know some people are going to say, oh, don't cook outside, it'll bring the neighbors. Well, in a short term outage that we prepare for for little things, too, something like that's kind of handy. Anyway, folks, that's the video. That is the Vivor Camp Kitchen. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video. It's very simple to put together. I'm really impressed with it. So do check them out. The link will be down below with that 5% off site-wide coupon. And once you register, this is 90 bucks. So definitely register on the site. Don't go check it out as a guest. Register on the site. Get yourself some savings. Anyway, folks, the links are down below. Don't forget to check out our Amazon link as well, our Amazon store. Um, if you're not interested in anything they have in the store, just click the link, shop as you normally would. We love when you do that. Easy way, doesn't cost you anything. It supports the channel. Below that is our freeze dried wholesaler link. My link will save you 15% check him out he's getting stuff back in stock again this time get yourselves prepared before another run where stuff disappears stock up now before the chaos we saw that during the pandemic once they declared it a pandemic and they started shutting stuff down people cleared the stores out you didn't really have time to react so don't think oh when i hear about it i'll run to the store and get what i need you won't <laughs> you know so check them out. My link will save you 15%. Below that is our My Patriot Supply link. That's preparewithiridium.com. Preparewithiridium.com. We got tons of great deals on that site. So do check them out as well. And finally, our Thrive Life freeze-dried food store. Who knows? Maybe we'll cook some Thrive Life stuff up on this. <laughs> anyway, folks, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to like the video if you like it. Don't forget to share the channel with other people who might be like-minded and subscribe if you like the content. Stay safe and stay prepared.